It is now time for part three of the Lego Movie Number Two, the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe. Emmett and Planty are here as usual to help me out. We can't seem to get enough of Batman. There's my new BFF, Mr. Banana Lego Man. Sorry, Rex, but you're already best friends with Emmett. That's cool. I'm just excited to be training some dinosaurs. It's about time. We also have Lightning McQueen, Mater, Unikitty, and Sweet Mayhem. They're all going to be helping me out while I read part three. If you're new here and you dig this video, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We've got lots more coming. Unikitty here with a little heads up. There's two other videos that came before this one, and we'll leave them linked down below. Now it's time for part three of... The Lego Movie Number 2, the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe. Written by Helen Murray. In our part 2 video, this is the last page that we did, so we are on to the next page. With a body made up of a hodgepodge of pirate ship parts, junk, and a collection of weapons, Metalbeard is well prepared when the aliens attack. He just hopes he doesn't lose any more body parts. Things you need to know about Metalbeard. One, the only parts of Metalbeard's original body that remain are his head and vital organs. Two, he stores his organs in his treasure chest. Three, Metalbeard is the captain of the Sea Cow, his very own pirate ship. Four, he loves having a spa scrub treatment. There's no better way to get your barnacles scrubbed off. And I am so excited to bust out this three-in-one Lego build with, of course, Metal Beard. Coming to you from a video here soon. Metal Beard's Chopper. Ahoy there, Metal Beard has built himself into an awesome battle vehicle. The chopper is built from pirate ship parts and other random pieces, including a missile launcher that shoots snapping sharks at alien invaders. Dude, sharks? That's almost as cool as my dinosaurs. Did you know? Sweet Mayhem turns one of the shooting shark weapons into a harmless dolphin. This is a crow's nest and flag, rotating turret with huge cannons, and the shark shooter. Building blunder. Benny helps Metalbeard build the chopper. Unfortunately, he accidentally blowtorches Metalbeard's chest while working on it. <gasps> the chest? The chest where uh, Metalbeard's organs are? My goodness, that could have been a bad deal. A bad, real bad day. Rex. Rex likes danger, traveling through space, and wearing vests. This tough galaxy hopping space pilot, archaeologist, cowboy, and raptor trainer does not like to talk about his past. Except, he tells everybody at any opportunity. Things you need to know about Rex. One, he is a highly skilled pilot. Two, he helps Emmett to safety by flying him through a scary area of space known as the Stairgate. Three, Rex escapes danger by using his signature ground punch. And four, he always looks good in photographs. <laughs> it must be my hair. Lessons from Rex. Emmett is awestruck by Rex when he meets him. He wants to learn to be tough just like him. Rex is flattered to teach Emmett, but it might be hard. Sweet, innocent Emmett has a lot to learn. One, learn and practice a signature escape move for when you need to get out of dangerous situations. Two, be decisive. Always act like you're right even if you're not so sure. Three, look ahead to the future. Four, always wear a vest. Five, learn a cool handshake. And six, grow some stubble. The result, Emmett gets tougher and gains the confidence to make decisions, but he ultimately realizes that being kind is a strength too. Friends work better together with their different strengths. <laughs> the Rex Celsius. Rex built this huge spaceship himself out of spare pieces he found. Just as tough looking as its owner, the ship resembles a fist and really packs a punch. Worn out paint. Ship is made from hundreds of scavenged pieces, and it has an enormous thruster. Did you know? As well as space cannons and hyperlight speed combustor, the ship has its own skate park. Dino Crew. The Rex Celsius has an unusual crew, a team of raptors that Rex has trained. Power up and crank the warp. Drive up to 11, dinos. All right, I'm starting to get a little concerned here. 
There hasn't been anything about me for quite a while. What's all this stuff about Rex? Hmm? Rex's raptors. Rex prefers to explore space alone, so he has a trained pack of raptors to be his faithful crew. They pilot his spaceships, carry heavy weapons, and scan new planets for danger. Things you need to know about Rex's raptors. One, Rex likes to name his raptors. Two, attach high-tech wings to a raptor and it becomes a Rex wing plane that flies in space. Three, these dinosaurs love to skateboard. Four, Rex's raptors are surprisingly affectionate, especially if you pet their bellies. Ah, crikey! This is one I haven't seen before! Easy there, little fella! Easy! Woo! Well, she sounds a bit fussy. Maybe you'd like a snack? Yep, alright, let's go get you some grub. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. It's not like anything we've ever seen. What is it up to? Lucy. There's Lucy looking through her binoculars. Oh, hey, Lucy. It's been a while. I hope you're doing good. <sighs> Sweet mayhem. This mysterious space pilot is General Mayhem, intergalactic naval commander of the Sistar system. The sparkly armored warrior has arrived in Apocalypseburg on a secret mission. She may be named Sweet Mayhem, but this unwelcome visitor does not appear to be very sweet at all. Things you need to know about Sweet Mayhem. One, Sweet Mayhem works for Queen Whatever Wanna Be, the ruler of the Sistar system. Two, the space pilot commands the Duplo aliens that are attacking Apocalypseburg. Three, she wears a helmet with a reflective mask so her face cannot be seen. What does she look like? Four, her helmet also features a monitor to scan people. It tells her that Emmett is weak. Secret mission. Sweet Mayhem has been sent to Apocalypseburg to gather its greatest leaders. They are cordially invited to a ceremonial ceremony at 515. By invited, she means taken to the Sistar system in her spaceship. Bring me your fiercest leader. Space for five. Sweet Mayhem can only fit five prisoners in her spaceship. She needs to figure out who the city's fiercest leaders are. A sticky situation. This mission is tougher than it first seemed. Sweet Mayhem uses her heart grenades and sticker gun to stop the gang from attacking. Into space. Sweet Mayhem does not tell the prisoners why they are being taken to a secret ceremony. She just scoops up Lucy, Benny, Metalbeard, Unikitty, and Batman into her spaceship. Hey, I take it as a compliment, you know? <laughs> no! Says Emmett as he watches all of his friends being taken by Sweet Mayhem. All right, that finishes us up for part three. Until next time, me and my new BFF, Banana Lego Bud, are just going to be hanging out. We'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.